Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about the area capacitance and standard unit of capacitance of the mass transistors or any type of layer which is used for the creation of mass transistor. So, standard unit of capacitance before going into the particular standard unit of capacitance, where the standard unit of capacitance is calculated for the feature size. I told you already, feature size is nothing but length is to width is equal to 1, where L is equal to W. And area capacitance, so let us see first, thereby standard unit of capacitance. Area capacitance is nothing but already we know the capacitance. Okay, what is the capacitance? formula what is the standard capacitance formula suppose if any material is given to you any material is given to you how you are going to write the expression for the capacitance how you are writing the expression for capacitance okay we know some dielectric capacitance is formed by separating two conducting layers separated by a distance d so that some capacitance action is going to be formed so capacitance C can be written as epsilon A by D, epsilon A by D parrots. Capacitance C can be expressed as epsilon A by D farads. What do you mean by epsilon? Epsilon is nothing but epsilon naught, epsilon insulator into A by D. This is the generalized formula for the capacitance anywhere. So, C is equal to epsilon A by D, epsilon naught, epsilon insulator A by D. So, let us write what is what, where D is nothing but thickness of thickness of the dielectric material whatever we are using inside. <coughs> thickness of the dielectric material. For your mass transistors, we are using the dielectric material as oxide. Oxide. Suppose if you are taking a mass transistor like this, in that mass transistor, you are having N, N and P substrate. This is the polysilicon and here it is the oxide layer. So, this oxide layer is having a thickness that is D. Hope you understand now. Okay. Here we have a polysilicon. Here we have a P-type substrate. So, these two are acting as two conducting layers separated by an oxide layer. So, this is what the capacitance action formed at the gate. So, that's why it is gate capacitance Cg. Okay, if you talk particularly about that particular capacitance, D refers to thickness of the silicon dioxide. Silicon dioxide. Okay, we know the remaining parameters. Ca is nothing but area of the plates. A is nothing but area of the plates. And what else we have? Epsilon insulator. Epsilon insulator. What is the insulator here? Insulator is nothing but in between these two plates, whatever the material we are having, that is insulator. Here we have oxide layer. So, epsilon insulator is nothing but generally it is a relative permittivity, relative permittivity of a silicon dioxide. It is approximately equal to 4. Its value is approximately equal to 4. And epsilon naught, what is that? Free space permittivity. Free space permittivity. Free space permittivity, that is already we know 8.85 into 10 power minus 14 parrots per centimeters. <coughs> that is the free space permittivity. Okay. Now, if it is the case with the capacitance, with the normal capacitance with the units like a farads, we can write the same in terms of picofarads per micrometer square. 
picofarads per micrometer square like write the capacitance c value in picofarads per micrometer square because the typical values of all the capacitances are given in terms of picofarads per micrometer square so c in terms of picofarads per micrometer square is equal to epsilon naught epsilon insulator by d this is constant it is nowhere affected farad per centimeter square into just i am reach arranging the units that's it 12 10 power 12 picofarads nothing but farads only okay divided by farads into centimeter square divided by 10 power 8 micrometer square okay all these will cancel together and gives you again the same value again the same value nothing but farads if you calculate individually again it will be cancelled out and you are having the farads only but we are writing individually just how to elaborate this in terms of picofarads per micrometer square okay so now typical area capacitance values for mass circuits now whatever we have calculated the capacitance in terms of picofarads per micrometer square that is given in terms of a tabular form all these values are standard values are particularly meant to a capacitance likewise we are having different different capacitances gate to channel capacitance is there diffusion capacitance is there polysilicon to substrate in between them we have a capacitor metal 1 to metal 2 metal 1 to substrate metal 2 to substrate metal 2 to polysilicon all these are different capacitors that are existed virtually without your intervention we are not creating them but they are created because of their properties like capacitance we know the capacitance property when two conducting layers are separated by a dielectric material definitely there exists a capacitance action likewise we are having the formation of this many capacitors in the mass circuitry okay it is also given for uh, three different technologies like your sheet resistance so 5 micrometer technology 2 micrometer technology and 1.2 micrometer technology suppose if you are asked to calculate the gate capacitance then you should take this value gate to channel capacitance which is a 4 which is the value of 4 for 5 micrometer technology but what it should be multiplied with see here pico these units are calculated in pico farads per micrometer square pico farads per micrometer square of course 10 power minus 4 keep it aside picofarads per micrometer square so you are having these values picofarads per micrometer square this is the capacitance value if you multiply this with area in terms of micrometer square then you will get the standard unit of capacitance in terms of picofarads or simply Parrots. Hope you understand now how to calculate the standard unit of capacitance by multiplying all these tabular values with respect to area, particular area, you are going to calculate the standard unit of capacitance. Okay. So now let us move on to the standard unit of capacitance. Standard unit of capacitance square cg standard unit of capacitance square cg very very important because through which only you are going to calculate the delay previously we have learned how to calculate the sheet resistance and now in this video square cg if you multiply these two that will give you the delay okay standard unit of capacitance is nothing but it is very convenient way to represent the capacitance in terms of this standard unit of capacitance where the length is equal to width okay it is calculated it is calculated for the feature size for the 
feature size feature size is nothing but l is equal to w are also known as also known as what is that standard size that's why it is standard unit of capacitance <coughs> standard size okay now for example for example you are asked to calculate the standard unit of capacitance per 5 micrometer technology okay uh, first one standard unit of capacitance see properly standard unit of capacitance square cg for 5 micrometer technology uh, for example calculation of we will take uh, here only calculation of calculate gate to channel capacitance okay so calculation of gate to channel capacitance standard unit of capacitance for this 5 micrometer technology what we are going to do first we should consider the area okay so square cg we are going to evaluate how this uh, 5 micrometer technology <coughs> capacitance value which is in picofarads per micrometer square from the table gate to channel see here gate to channel per 5 micrometer technology it is 4 4 into this 10 power minus 4 will come 4 into 10 power minus 4 so 4 into 10 power minus 4 picofarads per micrometer square this is the value from the table okay now this value has to be multiplied with the area area is equal to what is the area of this 5 micrometer length into width that is equal to 5 micrometer into 5 micrometer that is equal to 25 micrometer square therefore standard unit of capacitance cg is equal to area a area a into capacitance c area in terms of micrometer square capacitance c in terms of picofarads per micrometer square if you write that is very much better <coughs> this is the way okay so if you multiply these two area is nothing but 25 micrometer square into capacitance c c is how much we have calculated that is 4 uh, 4 into 10 power minus 4 picofarads per yes picofarads per micrometer square so its value will be if you calculate 25 400 it is 10 power 0 0.01 picofarads this is the standard unit of capacitance standard square cg okay so let us calculate the same capacitance for two micrometer technology in two micrometer technology both values will be different area is different and again capacitance value will be different unlike your resistance okay <coughs> so now uh, area a is equal to 2 micrometer technology 2 micrometer technology so 2 micrometer into 2 micrometer it is 4 micrometer square and capacitance c is equal to what is the capacitance value from the table c for the gate 2 channel for 2 micrometer technology it is 8 so 8 into 10 power minus 4 picofarads per micrometer square 
therefore standard capacitance square cg is equal to a into a in terms of micrometer square into c in terms of picofarads per micrometer square every time if you like if you write like this it will be <coughs> habituated to you okay so area is nothing but 4 into micrometer square into 8 into 10 power 4 10 power minus 4 picofarads per micrometer square so it is 0 0.0832 32 like this 0 0.0032 picofarads <coughs> this is the standard unit of capacitance likewise we can calculate the standard unit of capacitance for any type of material for any type of capacitance okay and one more thing here bracket in brackets we are giving relative values in brackets relative values what do you mean by relative values when you are going to particular layer particular material like a um, polysilicon or any type of metal layer then we are going to use this particular relative values okay relative values are shown here for the gate to channel it is having one for 5 micrometer technology and for diffusion it is 0 0.25 likewise you are having in the next video i will explain how to calculate the relative capacitance using one example okay thank you